a report by the South African Human Rights Commission, a damning report on the state of quality water in KwaZulu-Natal. And Minister, whilst we acknowledge and welcome the South African National Water Resources Infrastructure Bill, we need to be mindful of one very important factor. The exploitation through the use of water tankers. So there is no motivation to actually fix the infrastructure because high levels of corruption takes place through these water tankers. We've seen what happens in the IFP run municipalities in Zululand, which coincidentally, the DA and the EFF have raised seriously previously about the corruption in these IFP run municipalities. And thank you to the EFF for raising that anyway. But you'd find that the Democratic Alliance will not go one step further and do anything about it. But their focus is with the obsession on the ANC. Let us also not forget what happened a few years ago in the Western Cape when they were receiving 600 million rand chairperson kickback from the Israeli government and said we had a water crisis, day zero, if you remember. Suddenly the day zero has disappeared. But what happened in that process, chairperson? Ordinary Capetonians had to pay a very high price with additional levies and surcharges. Even though they were using less water, we're still paying more. That is the level of corruption. I'm not sure when the Honorable Member spoke, she said the DA is dirty or the city of Cape Town that the DA is dirty. But whatever it is, both ways, they are dirty in what they are doing. But be that as it may, 95% of people in Palestine do not have clean drinking water as a result of the Zionist state of Israel. And these democratic alliance will go and work together with the Zionist state of Israel, support them, defend them. And what can we expect in the future if the city of Cape Town remains in the DA's hands or the Western Cape? So let me tell you in, in the Western Cape, you will face the same plight as the Palestinian. You wouldn't even be able to have a decent glass of water in the Western Cape because they don't care about anybody else but white supremacists. That is what it is all about. That is why you would find that the Cape Flats, Nyangas, Langas, and Crossroads, people have no services when it comes to water and others. So I'm not surprised. But go to the bishop courts and the other areas. Thank that you very much, Honorable Imam. So I'm calling on you not to support the DA.